Sites and Ad Zone Setup As a publisher, creating sites and ad zones in the admin panel is easy. You can create sites and ad zones by clicking the corresponding button under the Sites and Zones section in the admin panel. The new zone button will appear once your first site has been created. To create a site, log in as a publisher and click on New Site. There are five fields you need to complete. Name, Description, Type of Site, URL and Category. Give a name and a description to your website. The name will help you locate your sites and statistics, and the description will be displayed to the advertisers, provided that the website qualifies for premium status. The next step is to determine whether you are adding a website or a network. If the traffic is coming from multiple sites or sources, select Network. If it comes from a single site, click Website. In the URL field, add the website URL including the HTTPS at the start. If you selected Network, then add your corporate URL. Lastly, select the website category. Ensure the category selected matches the content of your URL accurately, otherwise it will be rejected. When you are done with the details, click Create Site. You will then perform the site validation by following the instructions on the screen. Once you perform the site validation, our compliance department will review the website. If your website meets our guidelines and has the right category set, then it will be approved. Note that, if you have verified the ownership of your website, then you can start creating ad zones right away. Let's go ahead and create an ad zone for the site. There are many ad formats you can choose, and we strongly recommend you to find out more about them in our documentation. For this tutorial, we will create a simple banner ad zone. You should name the ad zone in a way that it is easy to recognize later. A good way to do this will be to name it using format size and position on the site. In this example, we will call this zone banner 300 for 250 footer. Select the site where this ad zone will be displayed. Category will be set according to the site you selected. However, you can further specify the type of traffic sent through this zone using subcategories. Subcategories are very useful to increase your chances of getting ads that match your site's interests. Depending on the format you have chosen, you can change the look and feel of the format. For instance, if you choose banners, you can select the size of the banner, 300 for 250, 900 for 250, etc. You can also set a border to remark your ads. As you experiment with the ad formats, you will see the different options to customize how it will be displayed on your site. Fallback, HTML. Turning on the switch will allow you to set an alternative piece of HTML in case that the floor CPM you set here isn't met. This way, if there are no campaigns that are willing to pay the CPM you specified here, you can show a different piece of code instead. Note that it is compulsory to place an alternate HTML code if you enable floor CPM and that all impressions that go to the alternate HTML will not be counted in this zone statistics. Filters are available to all ad formats to block the campaigns that you don't want to show on your site. You might want to block ads based on the product they are promoting or based on the design of the ad. For example, you might want to block all casino products, or you might want to block video banners to reduce the weight of the ad zones. When you are done with the labels, click Create Zone to create the code snippet from your ad zone. All you need to do now is to copy the code into your website's source code. As a last tip, note that you can add keywords to further specify the type of traffic you are sending and increase your chances of getting ads that match your audience. You can also add sub-ID to your ad zones to filter the traffic from this ad zone into different segments. Thank you very much for watching.